Hi friends, welcome to class and welcome to the library. Today we're going to be reading the book, Two Little Trains by Margaret Wythe Brown and the pictures are by Leo and Diane Dillon. Trains went down the track. Two little trains went west. Puff, 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 and chug, chug, chug. Two little trains went to the west. So there goes one train, and there goes the other train. Let's scoop over a little bit more. One little train was a steam line train. Puff, puff, puff to the west. One little train was a little old train. Chug, 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 going west. Look down, look down, that long steel track. That long steel track to the west. Look, there they both go. Down the long steel track. But what is this one? This is not really a track, it's a rug. But we're using our imagination. Two little trains came to a hill, a mountainous hill to the west. Where's the hill? With a puff and a chug, they went night through under the hill to the west. There it goes. Look through, look through that long dark hill. There it is, looking all the way through. That long dark hill to the west. Here it comes out the hill. Two little trains came to a river. Came to a river going west. With a puff puff and a chug chug chug, they went over the river to the west. Look at this, over the river. But what is this really? It's a bathtub. Using your imagination again. Look down, look down below the bridge. Oh, all that water right there. At the deep, dark river going west. Careful, don't fall in. The rain came down on the two little trains, on the two little trains going west. And it made them darker and wet and shiny as they went on their way to the west. I wonder where they're going all the way to the west. The snow came down and covered the ground and the two little trains going west and they got white and furry and still in a hurry, they puffed and they chugged to the west. Look at all that snow. The moon shone down on a gleaming track and the two little trains going west. And they hurried along and heard the song of a radio singing in the west. It's the radio, look at it. Look down, look down that long steel track where you and I must go. go. That long steel track and strong crossbars before we travel home. So they're going home. Look at, look at this track. The wind it blew and the dust it flew around the two little trains going west. But the dust storm brew, not a toot or a who, or a whistle from the trains going west. There they go, chug, 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 chug. Look at this dust storm. What's making this dust storm? Yes, the broom. You are right. Then the mountains came beyond the plain and the train started climbing west. Up, 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 up. Up and around and over and through the great high mountains to the west. What is this train going up? Yep, we're pretending it's a hill, but it's actually the stair railing. You might have one in your house. The ocean was big, the ocean was blue beyond the land in the west 
and the little train stop their trip was through, they had come to the edge of the west. Phew, that was a long trip. And that is the end. I hope you friends like this book. It's about using your imagination. So even if you can't travel with your body to go visit family or friends, you can always use your imagination and the things around you. Thanks for reading with me. And stay tuned, my friends, because I'll be back with more videos.